Hello everybody and welcome back to another Ask Photography video and in today's video I'm going to be traveling 12 hours to a Bortle 2 scale sky. Bortle 2 scale is almost Milky Way to the naked eye kind of darkness. Now here in Texas where I live it is super bright about Bortle 9 sky is getting to Bortle 10 which is quite literally city level and uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Now it's going to be a very long drive but I'm down for it because one, I'm doing a lot of visual astronomy and lots of ash photography there um, while I'm over there. Now I'm going to be spending five days in Fleming, which is a super duper duper dark area of Colorado. Um, it's a few hours off of Denver, but quite far. I'm not going to be right in of Fleming because it's also still very bright there. I'm going to be far away from it, but in that general area. All right. Well, uh, tonight is the night before I go. And I just want to run you guys down on what gear I'm bringing. So the first thing that I'm obviously bringing is my Skywatcher Evil Lux 62ED. Now I have my tracker all packed away in the box behind me. Um, it's a super hefty box because I have all of my stuff in it, uh, like counterweights in my tracker and uh, other things like that. But I'm going to be using my Explore Scientific iExos 100 too. Now bringing the 2i probably would have been better if I was traveling there via plane, but I'm gonna be driving so I can use my go-to tracking system. All right, well, I have all of my essentials ready. I have my tracker again. I have all of my videography stuff. I have my backpack um, full of my camera gear. And one really cool thing to mention is that I put an H alpha filter on my uh my camera kit lens here so uh, i can get some really really cool um h alpha as um, my reds if i'm going uh, to shoot a target that has lots of h alpha in it uh, like the milky way uh, regions and stuff like that uh, now i want to be taking a photo of a few objects but only one night is clear out of the five that i'm staying there and uh, I've got quite a list of things, so I'll list them all over here uh, by like wants. Uh, now, number one obviously is um, the M16 Eagle Nebula, which will go somewhere right here, right there. Uh, number two is the Triangulum Galaxy, and then the Andromeda Galaxy, um, and the fourth is the Milky Way. Now, obviously, I will be able to capture the Milky Way any night that it is somewhat clear in the south. I don't know how much Milky Way I'm going to get, though, because I'm at a higher point in the uh, United States. And where I am right now, um, I'm at around 33 latitude. So it's super duper duper uh, low in the horizon. And if I'm going to like a 106 uh, latitude, which I believe is uh, the place that I'm going, um, it's going to be super low on the horizon, so hopefully I can get that. Oh, and another thing to mention is I want to get Rho. Uh, now this is a this is the top region of the Milky Way that has lots of gas of different colors and like shapes. It is just a very very beautiful spot in the night sky, and hopefully I can capture that when I'm over there. All right, well uh, I'm gonna go to bed, get rested, and I'll see you guys in Colorado. All right, we made it. Uh, I have all my stuff set up. I have my telescope uh, focused for visual if I want to do visual early into the night uh, or do my um, astrophotography. It doesn't really matter because uh, I have all of my stuff ready to go. I have my thing rough polar lined uh, with the right latitude and it is in uh, the right northern spot. Uh, sorry for the wind, by the way. It's super windy here, but I think my mountain can handle uh, so, uh, I've had some problems with going to targets with this Raspberry Pi. Um, one of the main reasons was uh, the um, time zone is an hour off of where we are right now. And so it's slewing to, let's say the sun, it, where it's at right now. Um, it'll slew to where it was an hour ago. And so it'll be way off, but it's fine. That's why I have plate solving and go to, so I'm okay on that. So I have around three hours until uh, sunset, and I'm really, really excited to finally get out in these Bortle 2 skies and make this amazing video for you guys. All right, well, I'm gonna go eat some ribs, and I will see you guys when it's time to take some photos. 
All right, well, all I'm worried about is those clouds over there, but I don't think that they'll uh, come over here because the wind's blowing this way, but it could be uh, blowing somewhere else over there. But it's so beautiful out here, dude. It's nice and cool. There's no heat or humidity. It's, again, it's in the middle of nowhere, so I'm hoping that uh, the, the Milky Way will be able to be uh, seen, hopefully. I may take some photos with my my camera. I'll probably take off this lens and put on my uh, portrait lens and get a photo of the Milky Way, which rises over there. I am just excited and like, I'm ex more excited than the kid that got a bike for his seventh birthday. Milky Way is gonna be visible all night and I'm gonna be able to see it. And yeah, I'm gonna take some photos of it and hopefully tonight goes good. I've had a little bit of some hiccups um, in terms of my raspberry pie. Um, the hot spot that it makes whenever uh, it doesn't have Wi-Fi wasn't working. And so I had to go in and out of the house back here and connect to a TV, make sure everything was good. And I went back out and it didn't work <laughs> for whatever reason. So I went back in and I came back out and it worked. And now I've just had my pie running all all afternoon. One really annoying thing about my pie and it not having Wi-Fi is that um, the the um, time zone is really messed up. It's an hour and 20 minutes uh, behind us, so um, it's going to be slowing to targets an hour before where it is. So that's going to be a really big problem. But uh, hopefully. Uh, won't cause that much of a problem. Guys, it is quiet. Like here, let me just show you how quiet it really is. Like it is just silent other than like crickets, but it's quiet. Cannot wait for the uh, stars to come out. But oh my gosh, dude, look at that. Look at the horizon. Wow, dude. I'm so glad that I powered through this drive and I actually went here because look at this. It is <laughs> beautiful. Look at that part. It's like a gradient. Hopefully soon enough I'll start seeing the first few stars and then I'll get my idea on where I need to be pointed because if west is over there, uh, north has to be over there, right? I don't know. It's confusing me. Got a little cold, so I had to bring out the blanket. But uh, yeah, so the sun's setting behind me. Very beautiful. Back here, very beautiful. It's just so beautiful out here. Like, look at that, dude. Well, I have everything going. Uh, I 3D printed this star mask I made by myself. Uh, it's basically a star mask that gives stars a sort of um, JWST kind of um, star diffraction spike. Uh, I haven't been able to test it out on stars, but uh, one annoying thing is that it's half a millimeter too small, so I'll have to remove the lens hood right here. Remove the lens hood, and that means that stray light, like that light up there, and kind of anywhere else, I uh, am um, gonna pick up. So that sucks a little bit, um, but yeah. It's gonna be a cold, alone, and quiet night tonight. Uh, I'm gonna be all by myself um, out here for the entire night. Uh, of course, I'll have my phone and I'll have a sort of way to contact people, but other than that, it's just gonna be really, really quiet out tonight. And yeah, so hopefully nothing bad happens. I'm quite literally out in the middle of nowhere, so nobody's gonna be out here, but there's lots of like snakes and stuff like that, but I don't think that that'll be a problem. Now we're coming in on the last bits of sun sunlight. Um, my mount is just waiting to be taken out and start taking some photos. Uh, I um, pre-focused with the sun with this filter. Hopefully it works. Um, I'll be pointed there and I'll, it'll arc through the entire night sky again 
Uh, I think I said that earlier if I didn't delete that part. Um, but yeah, so quiet night tonight. Nothing much is going to be happening. It's a beautiful sunset over here though. Maybe, uh, I don't know though. Maybe I'll use these old cars as a sort of thing for the Milky Way. I don't know. It looks kind of overgrown though, but yeah. Milky Way will be right there. I hope. I think. Still don't see any stars yet. So I'll have to keep waiting it out. The only thing I'm worried about is those clouds back there. Uh, and that's just because, well, I don't know, clouds. It's kind of my only clear night other than Thursday. Thursday night's supposed to be clear, like tonight. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't have to pack up and go to sleep early because I hate doing that. I like to be out here with my Ash Photography gear, getting as much exposure time as I'm as I possibly can um, and yeah so I'll see you guys once I see the first star polar lined with the north star I don't know if you can see it it's still super dim but I got it um, and so Antares if I'm not mistaken I lost it oh there it is up over there there it is I don't know if you guys can see that the Milky Way is right over there and it's going to rise. There is Vega and a Neb. Can't really see it yet. And then Arcturus is up there. So, yeah, um, the sun's about to set. Uh, it's a lot darker than how it looks on camera. It kind of looks like, like that on camera, or like in real life. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be just hanging out right here. Uh, monitoring my stuff. I'll maybe get some Milky Way shots, hopefully. Have to wait for that to rise a little bit over uh, the horizon, though. But uh, it should be rising pretty soon. I see a lot of stars coming out every as I look. So that's, this is really cool. This is the darkest sky that I've ever been. So hopefully this goes well. Oh, I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing right now, but the Milky Way is like right there and it just arcs throughout the entire night sky it is beautiful and there are so many stars I hate that you guys can't see them there are so many out here dude it's crazy there's Antares Okay, so I am finally home and I'm so excited to take my photos out of my Raspberry Pi and start stacking them. Now I brought a thumb drive for a uh, for external storage, uh, but for whatever reason uh, it kept giving me access denied when I uh, wanted to save my images. But uh, I got all of my stuff onto um, my Raspberry Pi itself and I transferred everything so we're gonna take a look at the photos that I took uh, okay so here we are this is one exposure of the core of the Milky Way um, right here you have the Lagoon Nebula and the Trifid Nebula uh, various star clusters um, bright stars uh, now for whatever reason I guess I was a little bit out of focus as you can see from these um, well, these kind of donut looking stars, uh, but once it gets stacked, it shouldn't really matter. Okay, so here is a second first exposure. Um, this is the Andromeda Galaxy, uh, which was in way more focus. Um, now I took a five minute photo, I took a few five minute photos. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of star stretching, but again, once we get stacked, that shouldn't really be a problem. And then finally, uh, my time lapse for the end of today's video. Uh, here's a little sneak peek. This is just one quick exposure on the Milky Way. It's going to rise throughout the entire night sky, uh, which was really, really cool. Although I had a lot of bumps and bruises taking an image of the Milky Way, I still had a lot of fun hanging out with my family and friends. Now, with today's video ending, I really hope that you enjoy the final image, and until next time, clear skies.